All right, boys. We back. This is a follow-up to the, the Know Everything Guy, aka Pure DW. If you guys didn't see the video, I'll, I'll pin it down below. It almost has 200k views, but this guy, he, he has in his description, know this, 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 this. And basically, if you play anything where like anything comes out, he just, he just, he rage quits. He rage quits. I'm curious to see what he's playing, dude. Pure D, D, W, 1. Um, He's he, look no stun burn stall sky strike and flood it. You can't even read it like it goes off the thing No, no rituals by the way, dude. dude he literally a normal summon um, Let's go ahead and check out you know what he's actually playing. So he is actually playing his He's playing I think he's moved on to playing Methodist. He he rage quit against Auro Mage. Granted, they did get new stuff, but it's really not that good, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to um and you, let's go look for him, dude. He, he's probably still hosting. No, 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 this, this. Oh, we can't, can we not join? Oh, unable to connect. Okay, there we go, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what the guy's playing now in 2019. Uh, I love this guy. I love this guy. Oh, no, someone put my user. <laughs> dude, this guy gets really toxic. But I love it. I love it. I think I might have disabled chat, though. Oh, uh, if you put my username, he's gonna rage quit against you. He's gonna rage 100%, dude. Why? Why would he? Because... He's not like you. Of course he doesn't like me. I made a video making fun of him because he literally rage quits against, like, the worst decks ever. What about Roadnut deck? <laughs> he would probably leave if you summon a card that he's like, I'm not interested. Alright. Well, is, is it time? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. All right, so we we saw you can't play our image. I I'm not even kidding. Someone in was that was that video 2018 or 20? Someone someone literally glad your beast. This is before they got any of the new support. He's someone that called Quarry, and the guy was like, no, it's too meta for me, dude. I mean, you guys saw his description. It's like no this, no this, no this. I, I'm just glad to see that the guy's back, only for the content. <laughs> It's so funny to watch him, like, rage quit against so many things. Okay, is he gonna rage quit against Dark Magician? And <laughs> this is why I love this guy. Uh, uh, let, let's see what, uh, like, literally anything. Whoops, let's go ahead and um, watch replay. Uh, Pure DJ, let's see what he's playing. Is he still playing the same thing? Oh, so he's still playing his, uh, his Melodus. All right, like, Dark Magician is just, I mean... You can't get too picky off this, right? Like, you really can't. <laughs> like, I feel like Auro Major is. Uh, Dark Magician is really not that bad. Um, if you open up good, like, dude, that, that card that that makes it so, like, Dark Magician, you can't target him, and, like, it's like it protects all your back row, and your back row protects your front row. Like, there can be some pretty dirty setups, but it's not that consistent to throw up that uh, board. But we've seen him quit, rage quitting against more mages and dark magicians. Let's let's continue to see what else is too strong uh, for Pure DW in 2019. He, he's he's kicking out a lot of people. Um, he, he just kicks them. I guarantee you those people are, are. Some people might be coming in from the stream and like just trying to watch him because it's entertaining, right? You want to see what other people are playing. Uh, but the guy rage quits against everything. Have you ever finished the duel? Um, probably not unless he's like winning. Honestly, okay, so okay harpies. Okay. Is it is it a quit? like Okay, so he summons harpy dancer, um, you know harpies might be getting a pretty decent boost here He hasn't quit so far, uh, but I, I feel like if 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 at any point one of the dragon rulers comes out He's just gonna quit and you know like the dragon rulers are really strong and I guarantee you this guy is playing it But I mean if he doesn't have it, maybe maybe he'll let it go through uh, we maybe get a rage quit very soon. Oh, he's getting that extra, that extra draw. All right. He's gonna add small trap. Specific. Oh, he actually is playing the Harpy Lady Sisters. Wow, he surrendered. It's three monsters. Pure DW three man. And he's not even playing Dark World. He was playing, I think, like Danger Dark Worlds at one point, which was like a super. At one point, it was like. Uh, uh, I want to see if he's still playing the same deck. You know, maybe he's he's swapping it up. I don't know, still playing the Melodus. He has to, like, just open up, like, either really good, um, or his opponent has to, like, just summon, like, a vanilla and, like, pass. Like, he just, 
He just doesn't want to know anyone, man. And like nothing has been really strong. Uh, play the 342. All right. But if, if you guys are watching the stream, join him and play something like terrible, but try to beat him. He's not a very good player. Uh, but then again, like he's playing Melodist, which is not like necessarily really strong. Yo, so someone play something janky and then throw in like, I don't know, maybe Alex Jessica Tastor would make him quit too. Like, see if he quit quits against Katastor in 2019. Cause like, Melodists do have the abilities to make them immune to stuff, but I'm just curious to see if he would actually uh, <laughs> go and uh, actually leave against it. So, Pure DW did win Rock, Paper, and Scissors. Yeah, dude, so someone in the stream joined and beat him with Ice Bears. I'm wondering if someone will actually um, uh, play him. I tried to play him, he just, he just leaves. I mean, a anything. I, I don't even remember. I think he, he would probably rage quit against Ice Bears. Um, so... Oh no, we've been spotted, boys. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. Have been spotted. We're gonna, we're gonna throw, throw a stream sniper blocker in because he might he might throw out some bad words. And this is a fa words. family friendly. Some um, words. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're throwing out some. This is a family family Christian friendly stream. Yo, what up, Jake Pollers? All right. Anyways, um, question mark, question mark. Uh, guys, if you mention me, he's gonna get like upset and leave the game he, he knows who i am because obviously um okay so it looks like we're seeing some oh so he swapped decks he's like yo my <laughs> my deck <laughs> okay so we got we got him to swap decks uh, i guess like he's like dude my my melodist hasn't done anything um yo he just passed turn what the heck is going on his name is Vanilla. I want to see some Vanilla cards out here. But, I mean, he's not playing S-tier decks. I would say Witchcrafts are okay. They have that one card. Uh, what is it? It's the one with the white hair. I forgot, like, most of their names, to be honest. I, I played this deck just because I love the artwork. But the deck just, it just doesn't have what it needs to be competitive, unfortunately. But, you know, I feel like, unfortunately, with the Samorg, the Yosenjus, um, what else came out in the Witness recent set? Like, I have... I have a stack of the cards right next to me. The white aura dolphins, like, um, the, oh, the fortune ladies, the fortune fairies, uh, all of them just came out, I think, just too late, and, like, maybe later down the line they'll get some more support, but, like, there's just too many ar newer archetypes that were introduced, and just nothing came out of it, but, uh, maybe we'll see him throw out something and, and actually, like, play a full duel. I mean, this is very rare, guys. I mean, yo, like, this is base rare, um, to actually see him not rage quit. I mean, you already saw him leave, but he still doesn't know what his opponent is playing. There's still two cards in the extra deck. This is indeed the guy, though. The the know everything. I mean, again, you couldn't even read his description because it said no. It said no rituals, which I mean, I, mean, I could understand if Jin was still a thing, but like Necroz is really not a deck that is, is like oh, I I automatically lose. Like Trissler still is absolutely amazing, but the thing is, it's lost its power. I've got a gold cursed bamboo sword engine in this. I, I honestly don't know um, what the heck's going on. We have golden bamboo sword too. Is he gonna get that draw power? That's the question. Okay, he's gonna get that draw power. But let's see. I want to see if he can go into something. He's gonna get the draw power. Go into something. Um, all right. And then we see witchcraft creation. So he's gonna go ahead and add a witchcraft monster. I'm hoping to see a full duel though. It's very unlikely, unless, he, like I said before, like he has to win the game, otherwise he, he leaves. Like, or be in a position where he's so, so ahead. Uh, some of my chat saying that you're playing him. Okay, well, I mean, I want you to win, uh, but at the same time, I mean, you got troll. You said you should you troll him. You troll him as much as possible, like literally as much as possible, but like still win, you know, because if he wins, then it's not as fun. But I think if he sees something he doesn't like, he just, he just leaves, man. So, l let him think he has some advantage. What the heck is this? DD, uh, Burflement? So you target a DD monster you control. What? He attacks into a face down DD with, 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 with a card that can run over it. And he's just like, oh, DD's, uh, no, no, not playing it. I, I'm sorry, man. You, you almost had him, man. Can we get a full duel? Let's go ahead and try, uh, once again. Um, he, he's back. He's back though. He's, okay, so what the heck is this username? Seto Kaiba's M? Is that Seto Kaiba's mom? Yeah, the DDDs are too scary, apparently. Um, a, a, sat, a sat one, too. Like I mentioned before, this guy is picky. 
He will not duel people. <laughs> okay, if your username is Sausage Fest, I'm pretty sure he's gonna. You have to have like a legit username. Um, maybe like make a username that says non meta. Um, but like. <laughs> you have. Okay, so apparently the person. Okay, I didn't save that duel. I should have saved it. Because apparently it was just a random. You played random cards. I feel like if you play Ojamas or any archetype, this guy will quit. Like, he's the ultimate. A form of entertainment of like, <laughs> of like, what do you want someone to play, man? All right, so this is a new card. This is Martin says, oh, he's leaving real fast. <laughs> okay, Martin says, to be fair, guys, is actually pretty strong. Um, uh, let's see how many, how many, I think I spelled that wrong. It's fine, though, because um, it takes him uh, a while for him to actually play a full game. Uh, so, pure oh, he's still playing his witchcraft. Okay, okay. Uh, but uh, we're here to uh, spectate. I love it. I I'm, I'm curious to see uh, DM only. I'm guessing that's Dark Magician. DM only. Uh, okay, so Pure DW guys, he's going first. Uh, I, I love these. This is almost just like low rated duelist, but like it's it's more funny to see what people are like upset about. Like the, the other guy, he didn't even go off with you. He was literally attacking to the face down, which he was gonna get over. Like, I couldn't understand if you attack into a face down Grand Maju or something, but, like, if you attack into that, and you're attack- Okay, so this is the card I- Oh, wait, was it Barry? I thought she had white hair. Anyways, this was, like, the one of their, like, better cards. So, its quick effect is, um, you can build any number of spells with different names, and if you do, your belly monster gains a thousand attack and defense. So, I think the goal is for your opponent to attack into you, and, like, you get to recycle one of the witchcraft, I think. I forgot the. Okay, that's not even in there. But um, basically, um, they're able to like add the spell cards back if you control like a witchcraft. And usually, you won't attack into them because you're gonna expect them to have like a bunch of um, like spells to boost up their attack. But the quick effect is you can discard a spell to negate the effects of all face up monster your opponent controls, which is really good. You basically need to follow up with like two cards. So you go for one card that you're forced to stop that and then you go for your follow play and like the deck doesn't really have um too many like huge plays that i feel like you can pull off um but i haven't seen this deck in a while so we'll see um what you can do uh so he's gonna go ahead and go for the tour to go into hyen and then this one has the effect as a quick fight you can discard a spell card then target a face up card your opponent controls and destroy so he's gonna go ahead and attack with hyen um i think he brought that with the tour you tribute this card and discard a spell that's supposed to summon a witchcrafter okay and then like most of the witchcraft, uh, where it says, uh, during your end phase, you control witchcraft, uh, monster, your last cards in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand, and then, same thing with most of them. So he's gonna go ahead and attack into the, uh, Pumpkin Princess. Please don't rage quit against this. This card, like, does, I like this card, by the way. Um, I made a deck all about it. So basically what it does is, uh, if it's face up and destroyed while well, it's in the monster zone, and I believe it has to be in face up attackers and you can't actually, oh, wait, okay, never mind. Um, I thought it had to actually be face up. But whatever. Anyway, so what it does is you place it in the back row and every single turn uh, during each player's standby phase, you place one pumpkin counter on the card and all your monsters, your opponent controls, lose 100 attack and defense for each uh, card on this card. So I believe the combo was... I made a video on this. It's funny that I, sometimes, you know, there's so many Yu-Gi cards you forget. But it involved Pumpkin Princess and, like, Tiger King. And basically, you can also run Burden of the Mighty. And basically, it, your opponent could never summon. <laughs> it was a really cheesy thing because it takes a long time for this card to get uh, very good. And then, um, Burden of the Mighty reduces the monster's attack, I believe, for, like, a certain amount for each star that they have. Unfortunately, this card is going to go ahead and destroy that. So he might actually win, uh, in a full game. Again, this is rare. He's going to go ahead and link summon. Okay. Oh, no! The Lava Gold comes out, and I, I, I can smell the... <laughs> uh, dude, I love it, dude. He, Lava Gold, I'm out, dude. Like, the game was not even over. I'm just gonna uh, do this. Oh my gosh. Uh, pure Dark holds five. Okay. So uh, let's see uh, what the heck just happened uh, here. A little like, what is it? Dude, look at this. Red is Black Metal Dragon. All right. Look at Is this someone from the stream? Are you just. Look at this. He lost to Little D. He lost to Little D, Slime Toad, Random Exodia. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> but dude, look what he lost to. Oh my gosh, dude, this video is golden, dude. I don't know if we can top that. Let's watch one more here. Uh, if he, if he, if he's still like, if he's still uh, up here, um, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh wait, hold on, he is he still unable to connect? Okay, so he just 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to that spectate real quick here. Um, no, you guys can't join with my username. He's going to kick you out of the game 100%. But the fact that the guy lost against this deck that had literally what whatever, like it's it's kind of funny. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, but uh, let's see. I, I don't know how you lose to a deck like that in 2019, man. Uh, but again, he's he's very fragile. Like in terms of like if you do anything to him. Like, if you just attack over, like, one monster, and let's say he's attacked over, like, several, like, that's just how he plays. <laughs> it's just entertainment to me, dude. Um, but, uh, okay, let's see if he, he's gonna, okay, he's gonna allow this. Okay, let's do, let's do one more duel with this guy. Uh, let's see if he, he's gonna, it's gonna be something. Okay, no extra deck, alright, this is looking like he, he might want to duel. I think he only plays when he's, like, super far ahead of the game. But again, like, I don't understand why you'd put so early on. Like, with the Witchcrafter cards, you get to add all those cards right back, right? So, if Pure DW, he just, he's not even going to do anything. He's just going to pass. Like, majority of decks um, would just instantly, instantly win um, if your opponent goes blank board. I mean, no one plays Gores in 2019. And it's crazy. Like, Gores is at three. In fact, like... At one point, I was playing Gores and Mermails, and it was it was so great. I remember mean, for the the rank seven place, but things like uh, Draco Sag, Big Eye, dude, he literally no, dude. Okay, dude, I can't, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this has got to be the last one for this one. He left on a Evil Swarm deck with no extra deck. What the heck was this? Okay, dude, imagine, imagine losing to this. Imagine losing to this. What was this guy playing? Dude, look at this! I, wait, hold on. You, this is just a bunch of vanillas. Okay, you have Mirror Force. You have... Uh, is it literally just vanillas? What the heck? The vanillas, Dark Hole, Mirror Force. You put all the dinosaurs in there, but no Rescue Rabbit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing it pure DW again. Because I know the last video, you guys loved it. But, uh, anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. I mean, dude, the guy rage quits against anything. Like, I mean, he literally summoned Evil Sword with no extra deck. Like, why? Why would you leave against that? <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're in the channel, you want to see more P Pure DW once in a while. I mean, if he's on, dude. I mean, the guy's been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. I see him once in a while, and I, sometimes like you, there's just no content with him because he literally just leaves. But like. The fact that he's quitting against, like, the funniest things, dude. Like, an evil storm with no extra deck? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. And we out. Peace.